Last month, the French Defense Ministry announced that a nuclear attack submarine had recently conducted a patrol in the South China Sea, along with a support ship to underscore freedom of navigation. Now, France is sending the Tonnerre amphibious assault helicopter carrier and the frigate Sarkouf on a long-term deployment that will see them pass through the South China Sea twice. The South China Sea is strategically important because it is one of the world's busiest maritime regions. The South China Sea is also the center of numerous economic, island, and maritime disputes between China, Taiwan, Malaysia, Vietnam, Brunei, and the Philippines. Mission Jeanne d'Arc 2021 left its home port of Toulon on February 18, 2021. The annual Jeanne d'Arc missions are part of France's defense strategy in the Indo-Pacific. Captain Arnaud Tranchant, commanding officer of the Tonnerre, told Naval News the ships will work to strengthen France's partnership with the U.S., Japan, India, and Australia, the four quad nations that form a bulwark against China in the region. The French military tweeted that the ships passed through the Suez Canal on February 25th and conducted exercises with the Egyptian Navy on March 3rd and March 4th. The amphibious Ready Group will hold France's first joint military drills with the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force and the U.S. Navy in May. The exercise will be focused on defending remote islands. French Army units participating in the mission include infantry and legionnaires, an armored platoon, combat engineers, an anti-aircraft warfare section, and a joint terminal attack controller team. There are also two French Army Gazelle helicopters and a Panther helicopter. In addition to Egypt and Japan, both vessels will call at Djibouti, India, Indonesia, Vietnam, Singapore, Malaysia, and Sri Lanka. They will return to Toulon on Bastille Day, July 14, 2021. When asked by Naval News if they would pass through the Taiwan Strait, Tronchant, the Tonnerre's commanding officer, said he has not yet traced our roads in this area.